Today in this video we will learn about how to configure general settings in WHMCS. In order to configure general settings, log in to WHMCS admin panel and then go to general settings in front of setup section. Since it is an administrative area, you need to confirm your password once again. Now, enter the credentials whichever is asked in general settings. For an example, you will be asked for company name that will be displayed in your WHMCS, email address for billing, your domain name, your WHMCS system URL, and all other details. You can fill up all the information as per your choice. Now you can go to your localization tab which is the second tab and then you can fill up all the informations related to global data format which is helping you to choose the format of your date. Client date format is same as global date format. Default country, default language and then click on save changes. Now under ordering section you can select zero and then you can choose one of the theme or the way you would like to display your orders. You can also select other options like sidebar, toggle option, enable TOS acceptance, auto redirect on checkout as well as allow notes on checkout which will allow customer to enter the notes at the time of checkout block existing domains or skip fraud check for existing domains. Finally, once you have configured, you can click on save changes. Now enter the credentials in domain section. Again, you need to fill up all these information as per your choice. Under domain registration option, you can select all three of them so that customer is prompted for all the three options. Enable renewal orders is also essential, you can select that. Further, you can select auto renew on payment, auto renew requires product, default auto renewal settings and also your default name servers. Now you can click on save changes. Now you move towards to now you can move towards mail section. You can fill up all these information which is getting displayed over your screen. Global email CSS styling should never be touched. However, if you are a web designer, you can edit the customization look and feel by editing the code. You can customize system emails from name as well as the email ID. Now you can click on save changes. 
now you can go ahead towards support section and then you can fill up all the information as per your choice. However, we have here shown you all the default options which are essential or which is recommended. Once you have filled up all the information, click on save changes. Now enter the credentials in invoice section. You can select the paper size of PDF as A4. You can enable mass payment if someone would like to auto pay all the invoices altogether. You can choose your gateway settings and also group similar line items. In order to start with the sequential invoice number format, you can select this option and write your number from where you would like to start. You can also configure your late fee amount. Select your accepted credit card types. Also select your invoice incrementation value as well as invoice starting. Now click on save changes. Now go ahead towards credit section. This credit section is a type of balance which is helpful for adding a minimum deposit or a maximum deposit. These settings will be applicable to all of your customers. Now go ahead towards affiliate section. You can enable your affiliates if you would like to start your affiliate marketing system. You can define your bonus as well as earning percentage with this section. Once you have filled up all the information related to affiliate marketing, you can click on save changes. Now just give the permissions in the general settings. As a security measure, you can always click on email verification as well as minimum user password strength could be forced to a limit of characters. Here you can whitelist the IP address of which you don't want them to be banned for invalid login attempts. You can select disable admin password reset as well as disable credit card storage. Allow client CC removal. These options are essentials and recommended. You may wish to write some trusted proxies if you select proxy via forwarding the traffic to WHMCS. You can select CSRF tokens as in general with default setting enabled and disable for domain checker. Now click on save changes. Now go ahead towards social media information. You can fill up all these information of social media which will help you to display all these links. Now go ahead and set the restrictions for clients. You can set the client display format. You can also allow client registration. This will help them to sign up. You can select all those options which you want essential at the time of sign up.
Once you have selected all of them, click on Save Changes.